Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, segment uh, CD inside this uh, triangle. As you can see in this uh, given diagram, such that uh, this uh, angle ACD is uh, 45 degrees and this uh, segment uh, AD is uh, 10 units, whereas uh, this uh, side length uh, BC is uh, 6. And now our task is to calculate the perimeter of this uh, green triangle ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our action plan. And since we are interested in calculating the perimeter of this uh, triangle, in other words, uh, this uh, side length uh, AB, plus uh, this side length uh, BC plus uh, this side length uh, AC. However, we know only this uh, segment uh, AD which is uh, 10 and this uh, side length uh, BC which is uh, 6. So therefore, now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this uh, segment uh, BD and also this uh, whole uh, side length uh, AC as you can see we need to find the BD length and AC length and here's our next step let me label this segment BD as X units and here's our next step I have drawn this perpendicular DE on this line CD in other words this angle is 90 degrees and now let's recall the triangle uh, sum theorem. The sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle uh, CED is going to be 45 uh, degrees, such that uh, sum of these uh, three angles, 45 degrees, uh, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees, uh, is going to give us uh, 180 degrees. And now we can see this uh, triangle uh, CDE is uh, an isosceles uh, triangle since 45 degrees uh, are uh, both angles. So therefore this side length uh, CD is going to be equal to this side length uh, DE. And in this uh, next step I have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular uh, EF on this uh, line uh, AB. And as a result we got this uh, right triangle uh, EFD. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, uh, some of these two angles, uh, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, DBC. Let's assume that this uh, angle is uh, alpha. We know that this is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle uh, EFT. We know that this angle is 90 degrees and we know that this whole straight angle is 180 degrees. So therefore this angle has got to be our angle alpha. We know this is our 90 degree angle. So therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta. So therefore we conclude that these two right triangles EFD and BCD are uh, congruent uh, triangles according to angle side angle uh, congruency theorem. As you can see we got these uh, angles alpha and uh, beta and this uh, side length which is uh, same as this uh, side length and uh, beta and alpha are angles uh, as well. So therefore we conclude that uh, this uh, side length uh, BD is going to be equal to this uh, side length uh, EF and likewise uh, this uh, length uh, BC is going to be equal to this uh, length uh, FD. In other words, uh, this uh, side length uh, is going to be equal to this side length. And since uh, this uh, side length is uh, 6, so therefore this uh, FD length is going to be 6 units as well. And likewise, uh, this uh, BD length uh, is X. So therefore this uh, EF length is going to be X units as well. 
And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, segment uh, AD is uh, 10. This uh, FD segment uh, is uh, 6. So therefore, this remaining segment uh, AF has got to be 10 minus 6. That is going to give us uh, 4 units. And furthermore, uh, this whole uh, length uh, AB is going to be 10 plus uh, x. So let me write down uh, 10 plus uh, x. And now let's focus on this uh, small triangle uh, AFE and this uh, big uh, triangle uh, ABC. And we can see that uh, these uh, two triangles are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem. Since this is the angle that is common to both of these uh, triangles, this is our 90 degree angle and likewise this is our 90 degree angle as well. So therefore we are going to have a proportion. In other words the ratio of EF and AF. Let me write down EF divided by AF is going to be equal to the ratio of CB and AB. Let me write down ratio of CB divided by this uh, AB length and we know our EF length uh, is uh, X, AF length uh, is uh, 4, CB length uh, is 6 and AB length uh, is uh, X uh, plus uh, 10. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this EF by X, AF by 4, BC by 6 and likewise AB by X plus 10. And now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply. So let's multiply it out. So it's going to be x uh, square uh, plus uh, 10 uh, x uh, equals to 24. Let's move this uh, 24 on the left hand side. So therefore we are going to have uh, x square plus uh, 10 uh, x uh, minus uh, 24 uh, equal to 0. And now we can see that uh, this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it for x by grouping and factoring. And let's focus on this uh, constant 24. This could be broken down to 12 times uh, 2. So therefore we can tweak this uh, middle term. We can write uh, this one as uh, 12x minus uh, 2x. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, 10x by 12x uh, minus 2x and now you can see between first two terms uh, x uh, is in common and between uh, last two terms uh, negative uh, 2 is in common. So therefore I can factor out x and we ended up with uh, x uh, plus uh, 12 and likewise here I'm going to factor out uh, negative 2. So we ended up with uh, x uh, plus uh, 12 equal to 0 and now we can see x plus 12 and x plus 12 is in common. So therefore we can write uh, x uh, minus uh, 2 times uh, x uh, plus uh, 12 equal to 0. Now we got these two factors equal to 0. I can separate them. I can put x uh, minus 2 equal to 0 and the other factor x uh, plus uh, 12 equal to 0. Let's focus on this first equation. Uh, x minus 2 equal to 0 means x turns out to be positive uh, 2. And for this uh, second equation, x uh, plus uh, 12 equal to 0 means x turns out to be equal to negative uh, 12. And now we can see our uh, x value is uh, negative 12 and we know x is the side length. So this is not possible. So therefore we are going to reject this x equal to negative 12 value and we are going to accept x equals to positive 2. So therefore our this uh, BD length uh, turns out to be 2 units. So therefore this whole uh, side length uh, AB is going to be 10 plus 2 is going to give us uh, 12 units. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, bigger right triangle uh, ABC. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem to figure out uh, this side length uh, AC. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me call this uh, longest leg as our side uh, c. I'm going to call uh, this uh, side uh, lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. 
Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A in our case is uh, 12, so this becomes 12 square plus uh, B is uh, 6 whole square equal to C square. Let's simplify. That is going to give us 144 plus uh, 36 uh, equal to C square. So therefore, our uh, C square value turns out to be 180. Let me go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root on both sides. So therefore, our C value turns out to be equal to and the square root of 180. I have just copied it down over here. And if we simplify that turns out to be 6 times square root of 5. So therefore, our C value turns out to be 6 times square root of 5. So therefore, our this side length AC turns out to be 6 times uh, square root of 5. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the perimeter of uh, this uh, green triangle ABC. So this side length uh, AB is uh, 12. This side length uh, is uh, 6. And this uh, side length uh, is 6 times square root of 5. So therefore, the perimeter of this uh, triangle is going to be 12 plus uh, 6 uh, plus 6 times the square root of 5. And if we add everything on the right hand side, that is going to give us 18 plus 6 times the square root of 5. So thus the perimeter of this uh, triangle turns out to be 18 plus 6 times the square root of 5 units. And that could also be written as 31.42 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.